now. <laughs> Elite Part 2, the midweek show, Cologne Barnet Airport. Yeah? Yeah. Elite in brackets part two, yeah? Members only mode is off. Channel owner has open chat to everyone. No sound apparently. <laughs> it's great, isn't it? It's going well. Oh yeah, Don. Oh, is it old? Is it? Okay. Okay. Is it? Okay, here we go. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> they changed because they stopped the bomb because they couldn't manage. They do it tomorrow, so they opened the airspace at once more. Uh huh. And so they changed the runways. Oh, it's on the way. It's on its way. Okay, it's on its way, folks. We have a. Uh, okay, interestingly enough. Uh, just to give you guys an update, uh, you probably wouldn't have heard it in the UK or uh, probably wouldn't have heard it um, anywhere unless you're in Germany and living quite close, I'd imagine, to Cologne. Uh, yet another unexploded um, World War II bomb. So thank you, Bomber Command, uh, for once again disrupting uh, the, the, um, the local... Uh, traffic and uh, so on and so forth around um, Cologne. <laughs> don't know if it was a 1,000 pound cookie or a big 500 pounder, I don't know, but even so, um, Thomas Job has had to return because he couldn't get on his, what? You have. This looks pretty decent coming in here. What is this? This is this is a de this is an MD11, yep. or this is it. This is it. Hey, just in time, man. Just in time. Yeah. The first one. So they closed the airspace over Cologne, folks, uh, or over a, a part of Cologne, and uh, all the road and rail networks were shut down uh, within a certain radius. It caused a um, bit of uh, chaos, as you can imagine. Um, they're quite used to it here. Light playing a bit of an issue with the um Really? Come on, man. Let's get going on this, man. Okay, 
So he's going to take this exit, the shell to be shell. The question is, is whether or not he is going to go straight ahead Clyde or left turn Clyde. And uh, up to the other end of the sheds. Beautiful aircraft. Those elevators. <laughs> Still firmly in the up position. Get a good look at that, guys. Interestingly enough, I don't think I've seen an MD-11 with scimitar winglets on it. It's got scimitar winglets. Has it, or is that just, am I just seeing, it has, it has. Wow, they must be retrofit. I didn't know that, I was pretty sure that the uh, MD-11 didn't have uh, scimitar split wingtips. It normally had the upward sweep like the uh, 330. <laughs> something about it got to do something about it that's just like you know so it's a it's an interesting little tiny lower winglet isn't it I wonder if that's just uh, something that I've missed I've, I've missed that before or is that retrofit? I don't know. I don't know. Anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was designed. Was that mate? It was designed. Oh, was it? Oh yeah. Oh, okay. So I've not, I've just not, I've just not noticed it before. No, okay. What you're seeing in uh, in the max. Yeah. MD11 had 25 years ago. Yeah, no, no, no. I'm not. I'm not. I'm, I'm not disputing the fact. I'm, all, all I'm saying no, is no, that the uh, the um, the before I've never seen the the, the downward sweep. Yeah, it's a small one. Part of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've never. I've never seen that. Okay. Right. Just, just far up, so. Okay. We're going to try these. Uh, going to try with the mic again, Jilly. Everything's working on that. Sorry, folks. Back in the room. Check your audio, Jenny. Just, just do me a favour and check audio. Yeah, we go. See, that's a great shot, man. It's nice and crisp and clean. Such a shame we lost that MD11 going around the back of the sheds. So yeah, there you go. Something you learn every day. MD11. And, uh, Split wing tips, very interesting. Water. Yeah, nice 
was on the original design. So yeah. McDonald Douglas. Um, as it was there. Uh, I believe McDonald Douglas was, was it bought out by a Boeing? Correct me guys, let me know guys, let me know. I've lost count how many times that Lufthansa 320 has gone in, coming and gone out. <laughs> okay, here we go. What's that? I think, um, yeah, because the, uh, the, the DC-9 became the MD-80, didn't it? Uh, yeah. <laughs> right, inbound. Okay, here we go. Uh, Trish guys, stuck on, stuck in school all day. Trisha, uh, Paul Hines, Philip Semft, Frankfurt Phil is in the house. Hello, Frankfurt Phil. Leslie White, Paul Hines, GP of course, um, the wonderful GP, literally um, underpinning the entire operation of Big Jet TV. Rob Cartman, focus gone. Um, yeah, there's something we're, we're, I, I've got to deal with that. It's just non-stop. Uh, Sarah Nunn shall pass. Scott Tarpley. Scott, not from Felton, is in the house. Mikey van der Aaron is here. Um, Odette Stevens. Jane Leak, hello. And over on YouTube. Wow, look at all you guys. Wow, look at the flipping comments, man. Dardy37. We're getting our money's worth today. Thank you very much indeed. Well, that's what it's all about, giving you your money's worth. Got to get, got to do that. Andrew Smith, hello, Stephen Davis, Chris Godwin. What you got? What, what, what? Tim Bell, Greg Arnold, Ian Shakespeare, Matt 52, Mike Payne is in the house, Kevin Booth. Um, what, what's that, Jilly? Infinite Jets underscore 661. Oh. <laughs> Okay, so Infinite Jets has joined up uh, for part two, and you are most welcome, my friend. I'm only new, and I don't know why I paid for this. <laughs> Brilliant. Well, good to see you, my friend. Stephen Owens, John Hughes II, Shake Shaft. Simon Shelford. Good afternoon. Jennifer Westcott. Jenny Westcott. Are you off again? Yeah. I try part two, time. take two. And have a good flight home. And uh, have a good journey home, man. Yeah. Don't get blown up. See you, goodbye all. Take care, mate. See you later. Kev Booth, uh, Clive Pardo, Mark Jones, Debbie Speller. Uh, Jock and B. Uh, MD11, never expected to see one in my... Is that... what? Have we got to finish the sentence? Hometown, um, uh, country, uh, 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 lifetime. Okay. Outbound, inbound, I have what appears to be a decent sized jet. Two out. Uh, see if I can pick that up. <gasps> oh my god. It's an AN 124. Is that a 124? Second out, it's a T tail, mate. It's a Russian. Dude! Dude, it's Russian. I'm telling you. Sorry, I'm being very excited here and everybody's looking at me. I'm very embarrassed now. Dude, I'm sweat. It's an AN-124, I'm not joking you, man. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. It is an AN-124. It's not the, it's not the Russland, is it? It's not the one from this morning, is it? He's not doing the rounds, is he? Oh my God. It's a C-17. It's a C-17, is it? Oh, it's a C-17, US Air Force C-17, which, to be honest with you, is just as good. You know what I'm saying? Uh, wow, wow, C-17, man. 
Guys, this is just the first on Big Jet TV. Yeah, Globemaster, yeah. With the big juicy engines on it. Oh man, yeah. Nice, Stephen Luscombe. Stephen uh, Luscombe saying Ukrainian. Yes, of course, sorry my friend, yes. Not Russian, U <laughs> Ukrainian, I'll get that right. Yeah, Battlehawk77 says, uh, yeah, he was about to say it looked like a C-17. Sorry, I, I did get very excited there. Yeah, look at this focus. Horrendous, mate. This has got to be dealt with. Just try something here. Just try something. Oh. No. No, let me just try something here. <laughs> Everybody, it was like it was like being in, walking into the pub and everyone stopping, and even the even the bloke playing the piano stopped playing, and everyone was looking at me up here like that. <laughs> Thought I'd live and drop me. Anyway, Cara Bennett. It's Cara Bennett, so chuffed. I, I'd imagine you mean chuffed, not cuffed. Uh, dream come true. Fantastic. That's great, guys. That's great. So we're all gonna. We're all going to enjoy this together. I just saw the tea towel and I just thought, my God, oh my God, oh my God, it's got to be uh, Ukrainian. Still does now if you, uh, if you, yeah. But there we go. Now you can see how wide the, uh, the underside is. Yeah, yeah. The sweep of the wing and everything, it's just, uh, wow. I hope she uses all the flipping runway. All the way down, man, all the way down. Oh, this is great, man. What a treat. What a treat. Right, going silent on comms. Here we go. Thank 
Wow, well, what a treat. Okay, Jilly Go Com, sorry about that. Wow, how about that? Shelley Ann Thompson just joined in. Okay. Yeah. So is that the pillar, uh, the tiller um, control he's using there? Which uh, automatically uh, locks into the rudder, I believe. Made a lot of people's days. Might paint him one. Yeah, less clearance than a Dreamliner, that's for sure. Less, less clearance than my wheelbarrow. The rudder, man, that's... Uh, that's that, that's linked into the front wheel, basically. Once it's taxiing, I believe that the lower uh, part of the vertical state. Oh, look, back door's opening. Back door's opening. The cargo loading door is actually dropping. He's deploying everything there, man. Look at that. <laughs> How nuts is that? So he's jacked the front of front up as well. How crazy is that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jiggy with it. Yeah, indeed, uh, Jock and B. I'd imagine that they just um, use Cologne as a um, as a, a temporary stop because the um, you know a, a joint joint forces part of NATO and all that kind of thing. Um, I'd imagine that uh, they pop into um, the UK as well on a regular time. <laughs> yeah, Richard Thomas, the A team. Good evening, Andreas. Her Trish Peters, Dora Gerber. How about that? 142 people um, managed to see that, which was great to see. Indeed, it was. Oh, 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 wait, 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 wait. Oh. Oh. Hey, hey, hey. That shot there, that shot there, from the top of the uh, of the terrace at uh, at um, the Hilton Garden Inn, you would be able to see that that livery clear as day, and not all blurred out like that. That that is that is totally wrong. Mark that point, Jilly. Just do mark that point, would you? Because I've yeah, I've got to go and take that back because that is just not right, mate. I'm telling you now, that is that is not right. And I've got, I've got, a, I've got a comparison as well. I've got a comparison that I can show them when I've, when I'm up on, to, on top of the Hilton Garden Inn because, uh, you know, Jock Ices. Devon Ramsey, loving that. Hi, Fred. Hi, Fred. Saying Luftwaffe is also present at. Um, CGN, so possibly resupply. Yes, indeed. Um, you know, oh, look at it, look at it, look at it. Sorry about that. 
See, that should be pin sharp, man, with this camera as it used to be. That shouldn't be like that. Anyway, don't, let's not, let's not dwell on it. Let's just enjoy it. Um, and, uh, and uh, yeah, yes, yeah. Look at the way it's jacked down the, uh, the, 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 the rear mains have, it's squatting down on the mains uh, to allow better access for that ramp at the back. It's pretty cool man, loving that. Uh, yeah, Phil, uh, I will see you in Frankfurt, my friend. Um, not sure about the scheduling just yet, but it will be uh, in the next couple of months. We're just gonna, we're just gonna keep pumping out the Euro trips. Um, to be honest with you, the Euro tour um, started off as an idea for uh, a set amount of, of, of stops over a period of time. But now, um, just because of the fact that we've had uh, uh, so many new sign-ups, uh, we're sort of like in that, uh, we're at that point now where we can start doing, you know, regular, regular tour, regular trips to, to Europe and also bearing in mind that um, uh, the, uh, the, 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 the next um, uh, trip that we're going to do is at Schiphol and that's going to be on a Saturday. So we're going to be, because I know a lot of you guys said, um, look, can you do a Saturday um, show from Europe and um, so the answer is yes we can and that's what we're doing um, especially for you guys especially for you um, Debbie Speller saying flight radar a bit dodgy FedEx looks much number, your closer number two is a Federal Express seven yeah FedEx 757, 757 isn't it just number two out so he's uh, around about 4,000 feet a oh is he yeah he's uh, just coming over from Bellhorn 77, FedEx 77, right after the group gym, Wings A319. I'll be Cal Palmer's in the house. Ian Parker. Um, no, it didn't fall off the roof, mate. Um, it just something has uh, degraded, literally. Uh, the quality has, has gone literally uh, over the roof. Uh, it might as well as done, you know what I'm saying. Um, Frank Sorp. This one is from Zurich. What one is from Zurich? Oh, this this next aircraft, this aircraft that has just touched down, I'd imagine. Is that perhaps the one he's talking about with the Eurowings? Terrible. Absolutely terrible. Great up close, don't get me wrong, but... Uh, Oh, is it? <laughs> too many, too many nice people, but how can you ever have too many nice people in your life? Oh, Gareth Harwood, two 747s, UPS 747s inbound currently over Turkey. Oh, is that two hours away, is it? Wayne G C C C C C C. How you doing, my friend? Good to see you in the house. Uh, telling us that this arriving FedEx 757 is ex Thomas C. 
Cook. Okay, TC. Yeah, Benny boy. To be honest with you, the problem that we have is the fact that if we were to get another camera, we need to get another one of these, like we did last time. This is the this is the second of this variant that we've used. We had the first one, the original one, which had the mini HDMI. This has got the micro HDMI. It's just a better camera overall. It's the up-rated version of the first variant, but this one, you know, and they've discontinued this camera, apparently. And I don't know what the replacement is for this camera. Sorry, Julie, so, sorry, sorry, carry on, sorry. There is one, VX870. Oh, Tommy Cossa, loving it. Thank you very much indeed, Tommy. Um, it's for you guys. It's, oh, did I just do a radio? Someone just, I thought I just heard a radio then. This is it, Julie, this is it, this is it, the Sem 57. And she should park there, because there's the little van waiting for him. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, so uh, this should be nice. We're all getting excited and we see them all the time at Manchester and everything and Gatwick, don't we? But it's just good to see the freighters. That's what we've come for, really, and to see it. is a bonus. So here we go, folks. Yeah, these are all light. I think these are very light, these aircraft. Uh, Jock and B asking if I especially love freighters because my dad flew them. No, to be honest with you, I just, um, I love everything aviation, but uh, I love the old freighters. I love freight, just, just, yeah, yeah, just love it. But not, no, no link to my, to my dad having flown them. Even though, uh, you know, my dad was a freight dog. Freight dog. Okay, baby, come straight towards us. Yeah, that's the beauty. We love that, you know, it's, it's always different when we get to Heathrow and we see the Cargo Logic or the ABC or whatever it might be, uh, the, um, the Singapore Cargo, yes, the, the, the Cathay Pacific 747 Cargo, the Emirates Sky Cargo 777. They're sort of like exotic in my eyes, you know, I just love them. Yeah, the DHLs, yeah, the old bangers that come into Heathrow. It's just a... It's a different side to it isn't it you know you've got the the commercial side and then you've got the wow look at that can I grab that just quick just grab it quick just grab it quick what's that what's that anyone know what that is call it twin jet triple about th level 380 <laughs> or is it maybe just a 737 or something like that no it's a, it looks like two engines no 
Yeah, it's got two engines, I'm pretty sure it is. Yes, yeah, probably just a... Uh, probably 26,000 feet, here we go. Normally, you'd be able to see right into that flight deck. Okay, you say 346. Some coming up towards me, which is uh, looking pretty good. Uh, someone just said uh, a Titan Airways, maybe that was a 320. That that, that was a, a Titan 320 that just went over. Uh, <laughs> No, that's twin jet. That one is twin jet. It's probably nothing crazy, but she's she's looking good, man. Oh no, that's decent enough, isn't it? Is that 330 or something? Look at that. That's Dreamliner. Is it Dreamliner? Is it Qatar? Oh yeah. Beautiful man. Check out those wings. Oh, yeah. Oh, she's looking good, man. Look at that. That was Alitalia, was it, that just went over me? Okay. Wow. Beautiful shot, man. Beautiful shot. And yet, look at that. Look at that little fella up there. Let's see if I can get him. Hold on a minute. Uh, yeah, I don't know if I can. I don't know if I can grab him. Is it? Yeah, it is orange and white, yeah. No, I can't see him, he's too little. He's too dittle. <laughs> he's only going 40 miles an hour, is he? Blimey. Okay, so I shift him. Oh, oh, there he is, there he is, there he is. There he comes, there he comes. Oh, little fella. There he is. Aha. Cool. Well. Oh, yeah. Triple. 
Triple? Yeah, it's 880 Fox Trump Delta. Oh, triple. Is the next freighter in, GP? Triple seven on finals. Ian Parker shouting it. Oh really? Oh wow, what, they're heading in the same direction? Okay. Ooh. Nice. Okay. Yeah, there we go, Jock and B confirming that. It's a Lufthansa 34600 in the air over Cologne. Okay, let's just see, I can't grab him yet. I can't see him. Uh, I think he, I don't know if he's going to be, um, if he's going to have contrails. <laughs> no, he might not have contrails, but I should still see him all the same. Okay, here we go. So this FedEx is going to park right next to that trip, that 757. Pretty cool. Matt 52 confirming that 346 should be more or less right above me. No, she's not doing any contrails right now, folks, so uh, that's why I can't pick her out. I'm going to lose. I'm going to lose the battery. I'm going to lose my feed on the uh, iPad. So, folks, uh, I'm not going to be able to read your comments out, unfortunately. But um,
first line, you watch the rudder will also. See, he's just making little feathering adjustments to keep it in a straight line. Look at the rudder moving. That's linked up to the tiller in the cockpit. Manual operation steer with the pilot's uh, hands. You need a rather than obviously his feet. think that FedEx perhaps should maybe think about doing something with the arrow <laughs> because unless you know it's there you don't see it's there so maybe doing it yellow or something like that or do they not really want you to see it <laughs> And of course there's going to be a lot of people who are going to be like, what are you talking about Arrow, Jerry? <laughs> so for anybody you didn't see earlier on, who wasn't watching earlier on, look at... Uh, Look between the E and the X, and you'll see an arrow. <laughs> yes, Kevin Booth saying I can't stop seeing it now. Perhaps even FedEx doesn't know. <laughs> it is crazy, isn't it? It is crazy how it... I know, I know, it's like... But, but maybe if they because you, you're only going to know it if you're told it, if you're told it. No, of course they know, of course they know, but what I'm saying is that it wouldn't, it wouldn't harm them if a little flash of yellow in amongst their, um, just a, a, a slight sort of like, you know what I mean? Just a little flash of yellow maybe, Put the, make the arrow in yellow. Dave Williams has just seen it. Ron Perkins, everyone. Stuart Taylor's put an arrow up. <laughs> two three six six two three. Even two three six six two three finds it funny. Steve Green, yes, yes, yes. It should be in black. Maybe you're right there, mate. Maybe it should be in black. Well, there we are. There we are, folks. So earlier on. <laughs> Stephen Luscombe, it's called graphic design. Well, the thing is, that is it? Because they haven't done anything to the E and they haven't done anything to the X. All they've done is they've butted up the X against the E, like the D and the F. The F and the E and the D are butted up together. The D and the E are butted up together. The X yes there we go yes 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 so so the graphic designers like just like Stephen is saying the graphic designers have looked at it and gone right okay they started it with uppercase and then it gone no nah, done really work can't put a D that way around let's go do oh look at that it's little ATR 72 is it I was wondering what was making that noise yeah it's a 42 is it Nice. So that's a little regional um, parcel carrier.
No, black. Black. I think black. Is the Express in purple? Is the Express in purple? Yeah, it is in, uh, it is in purple. Oh, does it? Yeah, I'll just leave it white as it is. <laughs> um, DBR5813 wants the reg on the 757. There you go, my old son. Oh, is it? Oh. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Chris Godwin just pointing out that was quick of him to find that Irish registration ATR. Interesting. <laughs> it's pointing somewhere, Stephen Luscombe saying. That's all that matters. Battle Horic, sit me, sit. Yeah, look at the engines on that puppy there, man. Great. I think they're GE115Bs, the uh, upgraded variant of the 90. 115,000 pounds of thrust, uh, just so that it can carry all that weight. Oh, blimey, here we go. John Hughes saying, the custom critical division, which is point to point delivery of fragile, expensive, or restricted items, has the X in dark blue. Ah, oh, interesting. Ah, oh, so there's another division. Battle Horror. What's that? Do what? focus I don't film it tell you what though if I move this to the left slightly I'll move this to the left slightly look at the uh, plumes of smoke look at look at the uh, that's the coal that's the brown coal that they fire here in the plants in uh, that's unbelievable look at that like flipping great big uh, they're like uh, anvil clouds man they're like you know like cumulonimbus it's just insane, mate. And there, of course, is the beautiful, um, you what? That's the beautiful Cologne. Um, oh, on that, I think, oh no, there we are. Oh, that's interesting. Alan getting jiggy with it, saying uh, the arrow was supposed to mean for speed and precision. Clear, clear, clever advertising, indeed it was. Yes, indeedy. Uh, I, Fred, they are called the cloud makers. Well, that's a pretty damn good uh, way of saying, uh, uh, calling them something. Yes, indeed, it is a coal plant. Chris Godwin, Anvil. That 777's name is Desiree. Wow, Battle Hawk 77. Don't know why I say that, but it just sounds like a uh, like American uh, amazing uh, uh, Battle Hawk. <laughs> wow, Ifred saying they're 60 kilometres away. Oh my God, that's unbelievable, mate. Imagine what it's like there. Oh dear, Stephen Luscombe. Oh dear, oh dear. Sorry about that. <laughs> Petem two two zero four. Uh, do you still the see, see see the do you still see the C seventeen? Yes, we do. There it is. There she is, my friend. Anybody wants to see that? We caught that coming in earlier. If you missed that, uh, make sure you re rewind and have a little look back at that because that was uh, I got I got I got a little bit excited, only a little bit. <laughs> I think everybody thought 
I've, I've, I could have sworn I heard someone shout, security, security. <laughs> what came out of the belly? Interesting, good point. Uh, because they, no, they've still got the, they've still got the doors um, open, but I don't think they've actually taken anything out of it yet. But good point, that. So what are the motors on that? Are they CF6s? The lights are on. So it looks like they don't have any underground fueling system in place here at Cologne. Uh, looks like everything's done with the tanker trucks, the mobile tankers. Yeah, Fred Katz. I love airports at night, mate. Airports at night. And uh, that's a little easy jet, I'm saying. I'm thinking that that's a little easy jet, is it? There she is. Is it? Or, uh, I don't I'd get that a lot sharper. But there we go, never mind. Love for uh, airports at night. Airport ni airports at night are probably so cool because of all the lights. Look at all the lights. Look at them. Okay, 5% left. Zero in on the C17 tail, Ron Perkins is saying. Nothing coming in out of there, mate. No, 5%. Oh, I don't know when the camera's gonna go off, mate. If the camera goes off, by the way, folks, uh, I do apologize. <laughs> That's all I can say. I'm sorry about that. But, um, yeah, I for at least we don't have tomato trucks. <laughs> uh, Ian Finley, I was correct, and that one heading to Luton Airport, Luton Airport. Uh, Stephen, uh, Stephanie uh, Massey asking what time my flight is tonight. About 10 to 10, I believe, folks. Um, I got the late one because it was the cheapest. Look at those two flying... Uh, Parallel. Yeah, still nothing. Uh, did we? Uh, did we? Um, oh, here we go. Look, is he just coming or is he going out? Going out. Do what I'm going to do. Still got 70%. Super smashing rare. See what I've got on my phone. Um, wow. Uh, Jeff Ridder saying the C17 is from Wright Patterson. Is that Wright Patterson Field by any chance? Uh, in the US of A. Wow, Kevin Gribben. Yes, I would love to do that, my son. Uh, pick a uh, ride back on one of those. Uh, and just her. She's dropped. She's flying to Dussel Dusseldorf. Who is the? Um... Well, that's interesting. Debbie Speller, great takeoff sound. 
Is that to ref are you referring to the last one or or the, that the uh, C17? Um, we've got uh, no, no, no. The the five percent was referring to the oh yes. Here we go. Look at that. Just made an appearance. Look at that. Have some of that. Ooh. Oh, oh, oh. And all that. <laughs> okay, what we got coming in? Anything juicy? <sighs> the five percent is the latte level in your body. Brilliant. <laughs> Running low. Uh, Oh, Richard Thomas, Wright Patterson, where the UFOs are stored. Is that um, anything to do with. Um, I used to ride motocross at a track uh, near Vegas. Uh, nah, I don't know anything about this. Uh, uh, Alan Jiggins, go and grab a coffee and a pie. Well, have you had enough of me then? <laughs> Only joking, man. TAP 190. Oh, is that a TAP Embraer ERJ 190 inbound by any chance? Wow, I'll tell you what, they might be filthy dirty, but they look fantastic, man. Look at those. Look at that. Look at that. That's so impressive. I mean, it's not impressive, and in no way is it is it um, uh, am I endorsing it. But it just is a beautiful shot. I mean, let's face it. You know, we all uh, we all love our uh, our contrail shots, and that's basically what's happening there as well. It's pumping out a load of sh into the atmosphere. Uh, it's fueling it. Uh, I need to, uh, hold on. It's, your five, it's, it's the iPad at 5%, yeah. Uh, yeah, go on, son, there you go. It's like apocalyptic. <laughs> That's just unbelievable, man. Wow. Beauty and the beast, literally. I mean, that's just... It's crazy. And of course, um, like I was saying earlier, guys, that, um, that cathedral there, that cathedral there, yeah, that cathedral there um, was literally the only building standing um, after we uh, did our dirty deed on Cologne during the Second World War uh, with our Lancasters and Halifax bombers. A few Stirlings, a couple of Wellingtons, etc. Et um, 
Unfortunately, of course, back in those days, the uh, the cities of those early years were uh, mainly all made up of uh, wood, so they burnt easy. Um, so uh, unfortunately, and it is with great, it is unfortunate that um, Cologne just has no real, you know, um, old buildings, not much left, unfortunately. Back in a war. Uh, how long does the terrace open for, Andreas Hurt? How long does it stay open for? Uh, is it all night? Un until midnight. Oh, until midnight? Yeah. Hurrah. <laughs> The needle like tower looks like the. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The set, it does look like the one in Toronto, doesn't it? I was going to say the blue tower here looks a bit like. a bit Lego y, doesn't it? It's like, you got any blue bits left, mate? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, Darren Taylor, can you part one? Um, I'm not sure what you mean there, Darren. Uh, I'm sure you mean uh, can you watch part one? Yes, you can. James O'Brien is in the house. Hello, James. Wow. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Jet A1. Raw Jet A1. No, I think they're... Uh not sure what they're doing with that. Uh, what's that? What's arriving in about 14 minutes? Austrian 320 in your new livery is on its way. Okay, arriving in about 14 minutes. Thanks for that, mate. Oh, that's Stevens. Mikey van der Aaron. Oh look, it just asked me if I wanted a, uh, it just asked, asked me if I wanted to connect to a wireless network then. Carlos Fuentespina and Andy Dance on Facebook, Sarah, none shall pass. Philip Semft, uh, the man from Frankfurt, Frankfurt Phil. Paul Hines, Mikey van der Aaron, Gavin Wilkes, Good day to you. Likes the audio. That's cool. Rob Cartman, focus gone. I think that might have been a little little while ago. On Facebook, perhaps. Leslie White. Scott not in Felton. Trisha Guy, stop swearing. Did I swear? <laughs> oh, sorry about that. Oh. Watch. Oh, okay, no, it's just the, uh... Oh, no, I'm definitely watching the wrong video because there's no FedExes parked up there. Where's the real, where's the, where's the new one then? Uh, wow. That's interesting. Am I watching the wrong channel? Big Jet TV, Elite Channel, there we go. Oh, there it is, there it is, there it is. For God's sake. Now I'm on it. <laughs> Sorry, Kay. Dead, bad, dead. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> yes. All you guys on Facebook are like, what? Who's he talking to for crying out loud? <laughs> Sorry, bad, dead. Uh, I'll get to you in a second. Go for a pushback. Okay, let's watch the. Uh, let's watch the. Um, Are you off? I'm leaving. Oh, okay, man. Good to see you. Thank yeah. you very much for I coming. Hope, I, I really appreciate had, uh, your help. I hope you had fun here. Oh, I loved it, man. <laughs> I loved it. Thank you so much. 
everyone say goodbye to uh, Kai, who's got the same uh, first name as uh, Kai Tech. Uh, but there yeah. you go. Uh, <laughs> you know, <so> <laughs> <laughs> you should, uh, your second name should be Kai Tech. <laughs> anyway, good to see you, man. How long's your drive back? Uh, one hour. One hour. One hour. Okay. Okay. Uh, which that if way? That way? That way? If it's better than the drive to here because there was a traffic jam and I oh, really? uh, two hours. Or so. Oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> but well, I hope it's better now. you're not gonna, you're not going that way, are you? Yeah, that way. Is it? Yeah. yeah. So you might hit all the traffic from the bomb. I don't uh, hope. Oh, I hope. Uh, <laughs> I hope it. I hope it works out for you, man. But yeah, thanks for coming see. anyway. Really appreciate yeah, it. Nice to meet you. Yeah, and maybe <laughs> I, I definitely, if if anything, we'll definitely come back for the Christmas rush yeah. for the freighters. Okay. Hundred percent, man. Or maybe in the uh, summer. Who knows? We'll see what happens. See you at any airport. Here. Yes. Come to England, man. I'm, I'm more than happy to look after you. I'll drive yeah. you around. I'll show you around Heathrow. Yeah, great idea. More than welcome to do that, great man. Idea. Anytime. Just let me know you're coming. Give me good enough notice, and then uh, I'll, I'll, you're more than welcome if, to if I get a be visa, my guest. If I get a visa after Brexit. Oh yeah, man. <laughs> mate. There won't be any Brexit. I, I can almost say now. I don't. I don't think. I think it will stop. I think it will stop. I think it's. I think it's all over. To be honest. But there you go. Um, that's my opinion. <laughs> all right, man. Okay. Well, good to see you. Thanks again. Bye. Take care. Have yeah. a safe journey. Yeah. Cheers, man. Thank <laughs> Thanks a lot. What a ledge. So no one. So we've had a we've had a regular sort of like you know a good steady amount of movements today. Nothing majorly heavy, but we've had some good quality stuff like that C17. We've had freighters. Uh, we had the uh, the Luftwaffe. Um, A300, was it? What's that? Oh, there's your TAP Embraer. That may well be the same uh, aircraft that was in earlier. Oh, look, everyone's saying goodbye to Kai, Linda Louise, uh, Eunice Livesey, Mikey van der Aaron, Rob Cartman, Jamie Appleby, Robert Smith, Rob Cartman, Stevie McIntyre, Mikey van der Aaron. couple more weeks and we'll be coming to see you on a Saturday, Mikey. No terrace at uh, Schiphol. Oh, they have, is that the uh, side, oh, yeah, there's the side door open, the main, main cargo door open on the 757, as is the rear main upper deck cargo door. Of course, you've got the belly freight as well as the main upper deck freight on these freighters. Ross Kennedy. Thank you very much indeed. You're getting a German beer or two while you're out there. Not at the moment, my friend, but um, could well be. Uh, I'm going to have quite a lot of time on my hands. It is what now? Five to seven. Um, got another two hours before my flight. So I have to think about, you know, starting to think about winding down, Jilly, because, you know, an hour before, uh, I want to be there an hour before. So I've got to crack, I've got to break everything down. Bring it down. I've got to break it down here. In fact, uh, funny enough, um, Ross mentioning that. Um, Scott Tarpley's off. 
Brian Mitchell. Guys, I think I need to consider because um, I've got to pack all this stuff away and get it ready for, uh, I've got to pack my own freight, literally. Uh, this is the, that's what I've got to pack away, basically all that stuff down there. No, well, that ain't gonna happen. So I might as well, we might as well can it now. Shall we can it now? Yeah, Austrian with the new livery, and then that's our curtain call. Full shuttle. Is this it now? Because this is this looks like uh, strobe lights, so that could be signifying Neo or a new aircraft. Donna O'Brien, hello, Jamie Edgington is in the house. Jamo, triple set pilot. Uh, may need to rewind on a few of these later, folks, to see the uh, Globemaster, which made an appearance. That one over there, he flew in and we caught that. Of course, we've got the 757 and the 777 coming in as well. And, uh, of course, the uh, Luftwaffe uh, A300, is it? Or 310 that came in earlier. Scott Good, very good, interesting activity this evening. Yes, uh, it has been, man, it has. Uh, I'm on Facebook right now, Brian. Uh, sorry if I'm back a little bit on your... Um, is this it here? Wow, very bright lights. Stroby. It's not a Neo. Just seen the, uh, seen the one Neo today, which was... Uh, Pegasus, wasn't it? No, this looks like Lufthansa. Looks like standard, standard Lufthansa 320. But with uh, retrofit, since he's been in, he's had new lights fitted. You can definitely see the difference between those and the old yellow lights. Well, I say yellow, but the old style of light. These are, this is more a sort of like, um, brighter, whiter light. I know there's a name for it. Not strobe, it's... <laughs> Someone's gonna say it. Cloud making factories. Jeff Hughes, good afternoon, good evening. Sarah Nunn shall pass. Uh, Michael G. Kelly, yes, we had a, we've had a monster stint today. Rob Cartman's off. Got to go chicken hunting. Really? That's our pleasure, Brian. Right turn, Clyde. Also, guys, just to let you know that over there is the um, presidential A340-300, which apparently spends half of its time here in maintenance. Um, a lot of um, Merkel's uh, equipment is parked up over there. I think that's um, possibly a um, diplomatic aircraft, that 346 over there. But we did have uh, another 321 uh, that went out during the break. Diplomatic 321. Here's your Austrian. Murray Benjafield, hello. Oh, Graham Hill, thank you very much indeed. Appreciate all your, uh, your company. Everybody's company, great to have everybody's company. Look at the lights, man. This is when a, this is, in my eyes, is when an airport really comes alive, is at night time. Ian Sheridan, thank you. Oh, sorry, Len Sheridan, my apologies. Thank you, Len, really appreciate that. 
Stephen Luscombe, Jock and B, Battle Hawk 77. Sorry. <laughs> oh, yeah, so it is. So it's just kind of like um, an upgrade to the current livery, but looking pretty swish. Liking that. Not Swiss, swish. And I mean Emotion Shelley, folks, uh, but Austrian, of course. John Hughes the second, thank you. Debbie Speller. <laughs> Check out all the uh, thingy me jigs. Andreas Her. Through the moon, through the moon. Ah, uh, nearly. times has this bloody Lufthansa 320 been in and out of Cologne today? That's about the sixth time it's docked there. Sitting on a dock at the bay, watching the bull do 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 Thank you, Alan Warren. Storm Grey! Did not get first two hours, but got to most after the sometimes. Where well, it gets in the way, indeed. Um, glad to see you in here, Storm Grey. Uh, Mike, I've got to pack up because I've got to get the hell out of here. I've got to check in an hour before her, beforehand. It is uh, uh, it's seven o'clock now. I've got two hours to departure. I want to be in there at least an hour before. And uh, so I've got quite a bit of packing up to do. Listen to the fan blades on that 320. Clacketing around on those old uh, CFMs. Paul Austin, loving the uh, nighttime action. Love nighttime action, folks. That's yeah, pretty neat. It's nice and clean, actually. I do like that. I think they've. They've got done a good job at sort of like um, updating it. Nice. Don't forget, guys, tomorrow, join us tomorrow. We can now officially say that uh, we are going to be live tomorrow. We are going to be live tomorrow. We're at about 9 a.m. from London Heathrow, as you know. Um, and. Uh, that is going to be for the Negus livery 747, and uh, we're going to be live for that once again. The final, uh, the fourth and final um, aircraft in their range of retro jets. So uh, we'll be live around about uh, 09:30. I'd imagine 09:30. I'm, I'm supposed to be getting there around about nine o'clock. I'll be there. I'll be there at least around about 8:30. Um, but looking to go live around about between um, 9:30 and 10 o'clock in the morning. So um, make sure you join us. Um, thanks a lot for tuning in today. Really appreciate it. Richard Bonfield, uh, Mark Matthews, Terry the artist. Gareth Harwood and all you ladies and gents thank you so much for tuning in um, on Facebook Eunice Lizzie, Murray Benchfield, Brian Mitchell, Jeff Hughes, Andy Dance, Donna O'Brien, Graham Hill, Sarah Nunn, shall pass, uh, Captain Marcus on being surrounded by people here folks um, so uh, they're probably thinking what the hell is this bloke doing and who's he talking to but anyway there we go uh, hope you enjoyed it I think that was a marathon that was uh, what were we talking how many hours are we talking <laughs> <laughs> Can I take a piece? Piece of one. Okay. <laughs> Hello! Anyway, uh, yeah. What's that?
So we've had what? what? <laughs> just around about six hours, folks. Six hours of non-stop stuff. That's just for you, elite members. Thank you so much. Really appreciate your time, your effort uh, for tuning in and uh, for joining me. And uh, Jilly, of course. Thank you, Jilly. Uh, I know I've got you in the ear, but I want to say thank you. Uh, on behalf of everybody, uh, without you it wouldn't happen. And um, Charchi, I'll be back soon. Don't don't worry, I'll be back in a bit. Uh, he's going to be really pissed off with me when I get out. Like, where's me food? Where's me food? And um, so, listen, guys, look after yourselves. Be good. Have a great day. Have a great evening wherever you are. Be good to the animals. Be good to yourselves. And uh, we will see you tomorrow morning from London Heathrow. See you later. <laughs> With his paws on the iPad. <laughs> Where's me dreamies? Where's me dreamies? Right, okay, so I'm going to go for a breakdown. Okay, you can leave it running for a little bit, Jilly, while I just uh, get most of this stuff. Uh, break it down, it did. Right, I'm going to go to uh, camera mic. Going to camera mic. <laughs>